Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to continue on the camper. As you see, the front part is missing. And in this video we are going to assemble it and mount it on the camper. There you can see the piece that I already made alongside the side pieces, which are completely done. In this video we are going to put on the roof, which I managed to save from the old camper, and complete the curve at the front, and hopefully fix the issues that the original manufacturer of these campers made, where the front part separated from the main body of the camper. I also have to make a piece that goes up here and then curve a piece of plywood right around this curve. I managed to save the roof piece of the sleeping area with a piece of roof attached to it. I hope to reuse this panel because that's probably 300 bucks worth of wood in today's prices. Here you can see how this 3mm plywood piece is separated from the bigger sheet that goes completely the whole width, where the grain on the top and the bottom layer are going in this direction, which allows me to curve the plywood in this direction without any issues, and this is how we're gonna do the curve.
finishing this nose piece took way longer than I anticipated, but it's on. I just have to wait for this glue to dry and then I can put on the braces up here and down in here. This all has been glued on using MS Polymer because this whole front has to flex and will be flexing of course because that's about 50 kilograms or 120 pounds that bounces off of the front when you drive. These are the filler pieces where I use the wood glue and this will be insulated as well as up here and this piece which you saw me glue on before the front is overlapping the roof so there is a tight bond in here and the inner piece which I did before putting on the walls and the bottom I glued from this piece to the roof so that is a Z shape which hopefully will prevent this from tilting forward and that's why I chose to do the pocket hole screws from that angle so if even the glue fails this will pull to the front but if you remember originally none of this was glued on the camper and it lasted 35 years so hopefully with all that glue in here and obviously glue technology has greatly improved since then this is the bent over three millimeter sheet that you can see from the inside this is how it was from factory so i went with that because it's plenty of strong and obviously the aluminium skin that wraps around this whole thing and ties to the back keeps a little bit of tension on this whole thing up until here so all the aluminium siding will be helping this to pull up and this is how it looks from the inside I had to use my router sled to flatten these side pieces they warped a little bit since I assembled them and I also trimmed out this opening because the roof vents that you can get now are a little bit smaller and there will be some trim pieces to connect these side pieces together and that will also hide this wire that goes up to the roof vent and the overhead lights. A huge thanks to my dad and brother for helping me put this whole thing on. It was really a messy messy job with all the glue squeezing out and this thing sliding all over the place but we managed to get a tight fit in all the corners. Obviously I have to trim it out and paint all of this but I'm not sure what to do maybe I get some felt or just paint it I'm not sure yet but I'm really happy that this big thing is in and this was the last big piece that goes on the camper so all the panel making wood bending thing is all over I just have to put in some braces from the outside in these corners and also up there but this is all the time I have for this week's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the things I did in this video, just leave a comment down below. I do my best to answer them. And thanks for watching again, and see you soon. Bye!